I'm going to be teaching you guys how I think of aid twists, how I start aid twists, how I teach aid twists, and how I even start twisting. This is going to be a very in-depth tutorial. I hope you guys are ready to learn. All of that is going to be coming up. But first, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you like the video, if you don't like the video, what you would learn next, and anything else that you guys would like to learn. Also, feel free to send us your videos to our Instagram, which is at The Collective Movements. If you guys aren't sure about anything, or if you would like a little bit of extra advice on your aerial twists. Hey, what's up, Collective Movements? Today, we are going to be working on our A-twist. If you don't know how to start twisting, this is a decent place to start learning, simply because it's only a half twist, and we're gonna have a full breakdown of how I would personally start teaching my A-twists. So we're gonna get into cartwheels and twisting. The breakdown of my twist is gonna be a little different today than, than usually, but I've been thinking about this a lot and I really like the way this would play out. The way that we are going to get into our twisting is with cartwheels. Now, I cartwheel to my left and I twist my A-twist to my left, my cork to my left. Um, now, what defines twisting is what shoulder pulls backwards, okay? So, if I am a left side twister, my left shoulder pulls back. Now, this kind of makes no sense for the cartwheel, but it does if you think about it. When you do a cartwheel, your cartwheel is twisting to the right if you're a left-handed cartwheeler like I am. So if you're following me here, a left-handed cartwheel is a right-sided twist. So if you notice here, when I cartwheel, my right shoulder is the one that's pulling back, which means it's a right-sided twist on a left-sided cartwheel. So what we're going to do here is actually start doing cartwheels on our bad side to start learning our good side twisting. I hope that makes sense to you. It makes sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you. So what I mean by this, is because my good side cartwheel is left, I am gonna start cartwheeling on my right side. So I learn how to twist on my left side. Sounds confusing, I know. <laughs> Just follow me here. For this one, I'm going to switch directions, right? I'm gonna put my right leg in front and I'm going to do a uh, left-sided twist on a right-sided cartwheel. All right, now, as that starts to develop and get used to twisting that left shoulder, right? Then you can start to move on. Now you don't need a perfect cartwheel as exampled by mine. It just has to make sense enough that you're ready to move on. I'm a lefty, so when I do my A twist, my left foot is in front. So I would kick my right leg behind me. For my cartwheels, I'm going to start with my right leg in front. Then I'm going to place my right hand down and I'm gonna do a right sided cartwheel like normal. Now from here, once this makes sense to you and you kind of get the idea of twisting to your left side with your right side cartwheel, then we're going to step forward with our left foot and we are still going to be twisting left for our cartwheel. Now for a lot of people out here, this is going to be an A twist Gumby, but don't worry about that too much. Just focus on the twist. So you're gonna still put your right hand down. Now, here's the weird part. As you do this, you're gonna actually reach with your left hand behind your head. So as this left hand is reaching behind your head, what that's causing you to do is it's causing this big Y position that we talked about for our cork, which if you haven't seen the cork video, I'll put a link up, up there, I think. Is that the right side? I'll put a link somewhere up there. As you start to do your A-twist Gumby or your right-sided cartwheel with your left foot in front, this is where the A-twist starts to happen. So from here, we're going to put our right or left leg in front. Now, we're still going to put our left hand down. Now for this one, we're gonna actually turn so our thumb is facing forward. The reason being is so we're able to twist and, and be able to get that hand behind us, okay? So we're gonna go here. So we're gonna kick up. Now 
One more time, I'm gonna do it facing this way so you can see. Aim here. I'm gonna place my hand so my thumb faces forward and that it's gonna allow me to twist. Now you're gonna have a really hard time with this one if you find that you can't figure out when to twist. It's probably because you're trying to twist too early inside that A twist Gumby. So make sure that you're fully inverted feet above your head, but above your head before you let the twist happen and squeezing those legs together. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work out. So here. As you start to get comfortable with that A-twist Gumby, you're gonna start giving it a little bit of setup. Now for your setup on your A-twist, there's gonna be two different things that you can do here. You can either hurdle or you can gather step into your, into your A-twist. So a hurdle would look like this. I am a left-sided twister, so I'm gonna start with my right leg in front. I'm gonna go right, right, left, the same that you would as your cartwheel or a round off. And your gather step would look like this. It is a quick, it's a left, right, left. So I'm gonna step left, right, left. All right, so I would personally rather do the hurdle versus the gather step. I find for me that my gather step tends to send me out further because I'm not blocking as strong as I am inside my, my hurdle. So play with both and figure out which makes more sense to your brain and your body and figure out which one you like more and then master that one and then come back to the other one later. Totally fine. All right, I'm not gonna do the gather step into the A-twist Gumby for you because the hurdle A-twist is the only way that makes sense to me. I've tried both ways, but I don't like the gather step A-twist Gumby. So here's the A-twist Gumby with a hurdle. Prerequisites for an A-twist. You're going to need to learn how to do a Webster. If you don't know how to do a Webster, I'll do that one next. A cartwheel, kind of. For sure, your A-twist Gumby, which you're kind of already learning if you're watching the video and you're following along with the steps to learn how to do your A-twist. That's pretty much it. Now that the theory's out of the way, okay, here are the steps to do an A-twist. Uh, one, know how to Webster. So you're gonna kick your leg, your back leg really aggressively. I'm a left side twister, so my left leg is in front. I'm going to kick my back leg behind me as hard as I can. Once my hips start to go above my head, then I put my seatbelt on from right side to left side of my hips. To initiate my twist, I put my right hip to my left hip and I spot the floor and then I reach my feet to the floor. And that is your entire A twist. Pay attention and notice how I spot the floor the entire time. Now I am actively reaching my feet to the floor to prep for my landing, because if I don't prep for my landing, I'm just gonna collapse and it's not gonna feel good. Common mistakes with an A-twist, twisting too early or too late. It's a very common thing. It's less common to see people twisting late, but a late twist, I would rather see that than an early twist because a, a late twist means you at least did the flip. For an aerial twist, it's always going to be flip then twist. Always. And then land, of course. Honestly, it's gonna be the same thing for most of your twisting, base twisting, like unless you're doing full ups and full downs, or half ups and half downs. It's always going to be flip, then twist. Always. Easiest way to fix this is to have a camera and to record yourself. Most people nowadays have a phone. If you don't have a phone, have a training partner to cue you. So what a cue is, is just them saying like twist, or they, they tell you when to twist, basically. And if you don't have a training partner, then I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. <laughs> the second most common mistake is people tucking a lot and treating it much more like a like a Webster than they should. So they're they're grabbing their knees and trying to turn, pushing their knees with their hands, and that doesn't work out very often or at all. So make sure you have a solid leg drive the entire time, all the way through. The third common mistake is not twisting. Okay, so hear me out. They are twisting, but they're twisting the wrong way. Okay, so they'd be doing more of an aerial instead of the aerial twist. Both skills are a 180, 
but one opens your hips, the other one closes your hips. So pay close attention to that. You could still be doing a half turn and thinking that you're doing an A twist, but you're really just doing an aerial. Tricky, tricky, especially learning how to twist. You are more than welcome to pause this video and compare your A twist or aerial to mine and to see if it looks that way. If it doesn't and you find that you are not closing your hips for your A-twist like you should be, go back to the cartwheel drills and the A-twist gumby drills because those will be the, the bread and butter of learning your entire aerial twist.